Oh, hey. Have a look at this. So I found this partner P100 chainsaw a while back. Um, it's old, it's used, it doesn't run. I've tried to run it. Um, we're gonna try and run it today. I really wanna see if you can get it running. Um, great old saw though. So it's a Swedish made saw. It's a two stroke, about mid 70s. I think they introduced these things in 75. Um, I really wanna see if I can get this thing running. That would be the goal today, if we can just get it running. So this will be the first part to a two part video. Uh, the first one, I really just wanna see if I can get it running. That'll be good. Uh, the second one, I wanna try and do a full restoration and get it running back to brand new. I want it looking brand new and I want it running brand new. But this one will just be uh, just trying to get the saw running first because I, I can't, I mean, it's, it's, it's locked up. So look, we'll see how we go. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I think where we'll start first is probably checking to see if we have spark. And now I can't really, like I can just, That's a fair bit wet. Yeah, I'll clean it off. I'll see. Uh, see if I can get it clean. I mean, it looks like a good plug. It just looks like it. It just looks a bit wet. So I'll clean it up. That looks a lot better. I'll put some carb cleaner down. No. <clears throat> I'll put some ether down the spark plug hole and see if that makes anything happen <clears throat> Oh, 
she runs. It runs. That's that's got me really excited actually. All right, I gotta get some fuel into this. Okay, we do actually have some fuel in there, so. Doesn't smell too bad, actually. Um, it smells pretty good. <laughs> still smoking, it's been a minute, it's still smoking. <laughs> okay, so I got a bit of a runner here. Um, we do have a bit of a fuel issue, so I'm gonna have to get into that carby and fix that blockage, because obviously we're not getting fuel. We've got fuel in the tank, so it's running off ether, which is good. So that's, that's a good sign. So let's pull down into that, tear down into that carby and go from there. All right, I'm just keep uh, taking my sawdust out. Take this top cover off. And yes, that price is correct. $25 is what I picked her up for. Nice and dirty. So I'll put all these behind me. Okay. Okay, is that air cover off now? Mm, not terrible, but it's not good. Like, so there's a choke. That's our choke there. Let's get that, oh, what do we got here? Bit of silicon, sort of holding that little fuel hose in. Looks like it may be an eight mil to me. Yep. Okay. Is that whole bolt meant to come out? Is it? Yeah, it's meant to be. Yeah, okay. So that will go there. Uh, we'll disconnect that fuel hose. Oops, there's that gasket. <laughs> Definitely going to need a gasket kit that's like falling apart. Barely a gasket on the other side too, so. Um, I don't think I can get 
that that linkage. We just try and pop that linkage there. It's gonna be better if we could just sort of like where'd that washer go? Yeah, that should just uh, slide out of there. Yep. Okay, that car we should just like. Oh, hang on, we got one more linkage. Um, got another washer there. Should just pop out. Yep. And we've just got our little fuel hose here. I don't know how that sort of pops out just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of shit there. That is uh, most definitely going to need a clean. Doesn't look to be too much uh, scoring on that piston there. Okay, I've got the ultrasonic cleaner going now, just behind me. Um, that'll give us enough time to pull that apart while that's heating up. And this will be the first time I'm using that actually, so it'll be really fun to see if this does a good job or not. But that carby definitely needs a clean. Hopefully that diaphragm's okay because I don't have any seals or diaphragms or any sort of a carby kit for it. So we're gonna be very gingerly with this one. Um, I really just wanna get it started, but there's obviously like a fuel blockage somewhere. Um, let's go and see what we can do. I'm keen to get this thing running. All right, for those of you who are curious, just a digital ultrasonic cleaner I got off Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description, but this one is a three liter. Don't know how many that is in quarts, but three liters here in Australia. Uh, and this is the carb cleaner that I'll be using. Virochem Carby Cleaner, five liter bottle, $33. Easy, oh, the ultrasonic, ultrasonic cleaner was uh, $45 delivered. Probably say that's enough. I'm not sure how these little rubber feet are gonna go in the carby cleaner. I guess we'll find out. All right, so we'll put our lid on. Uh, power on. Let's turn the switch on. Let's turn the main switch on. There we go. Now we're cooking. So, probably want uh, I'm probably going to set it for 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, probably have it running for about half an hour. We're just going to turn the temp on. And it's just heating up. We might turn the... I'm pretty sure this one makes it vibrate. Yep. All right. Let's pull it apart. First, I think I'm just going to knock a bit of that crap off. There's a little gasket I want to get off. And then hit it with some carb cleaner. So I'll get all the gaskets off first. 
Hopefully I don't wreck this one. Oh. Ooh, is she gonna come off in one pay? Yeah! Alright, I'm so worried about that. <laughs> okay, we'll put that one aside. What else have we got? That's it for gaskets at the moment. I'm just going to quickly hit it with carb cleaner around there just so I can see all the screws and whatnot. I don't know if I want to go and open this, but we're already here. Let me just see if I can pry it up. Oh. Actually, that diaphragm looks alright. It's very, uh... Yep, no, that's good. That's not hard. That's not, um... Hard and stiff, that's still good. Okay, so there's our needle and seat right in there. So as your chainsaw is working, that sits right up in there. And the diaphragm sort of vibrates as the, the motor creates a bit of a pulse. And that's what like primes your fuel. And so as that's doing that, it's allowing fuel to go in through that needle seat. So we're gonna get that out now. Out, without losing anything, hopefully. We're just gonna hold that down. Because there's a spring in there, so it's just gonna to wanna to fling up, so just be careful. That needle looks really good. Okay, there's a spring right there. I'm not gonna bother drilling that out and getting that screw that's in there. I just, I don't have the kit for it. So we're just going to get out what we see. The main things right there. These two will be your high and low mixes. On the side of the chainsaw, you would have seen a high and a low, and a, like a big gap, and there's a high and low, and they will be your adjustments for idle and running. There's the throttle. Okay, let's get some screws out. <coughs> I'm just going to count in how many turns and then back out. So pretty much just over that little thread there, that's where we're going to end. Oh, that's all the way shut. 
That's all the way shut. That one was easy. Okay. Um, there's a little ball bearing inside there, but we'll have to see once we got it cleaned. There's a tiny little jet hole right up in there, at right the top of the screwdriver. And what else have we got on the sides? So we'll count, we'll get these out, we'll count how many in and then all the way back out. So straight up and down, half, one. One and just a nip. So that can come all the way out. <clears throat> there should be a needle on the end of that one. Yep. That's it. So I'm sure that was the high. How many have we got here? We got half, one, one half, two, two and just a nip. And there's our low. See, they're two different needles too. So this one should, I should line it up next to here. So the pointier one will go on the left hand side when the carb is upside down. Here's one here, one half, and a nip. So we've got half and a nip on that one. I won't bother taking the butterfly off or anything. That can stay. That can stay for now. What else have we got? That's it, I think. That's our fuel in. Okay, let's get this top off. Let's hope I don't stuff this one up. Actually, I'll go off there. to just stick. Where's my blade? Just ever so gently. Oops. And there we go. So there's a gasket and diaphragm. They are stuck together. Yeah, it still feels all right. Oh, I don't know if I want to go through and get that off. Okay, that's all cleaned. And I'm going to chuck that in the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay. Let's get out a little tray. Carby can go there.
that one can just go in there like that. Cloudy, so it's obviously cleaned up a bit of stuff in it. We'll put that one over there, and then we're gonna get our just take that basket out. It's a bit warm. Okay, we'll put that basket back in. I'll leave that on just in case I need it again so it keeps its temperature. And then we've got all our little screws and stuff. So I'm just going to upend that. Nothing left in there. Everything's cleaned up beautifully. Except for this one here. So I'm just going to get a little wire brush. Filter. That needle. There's a little hole in there still. That's a little filter. Make sure that needle goes through. So that's good there. Tiny little hole in there. Okay. Being careful not to lose that little washer. Look, I think we're good. Let's go ahead. 
let's go ahead and put that back together. Hopefully we're all good. I do just want to try and get a bit of that crap off. Yeah, that'll be fine. That little washer just come out again. Where did that go? So I believe uh, this one went here. <clears throat> that one was all the way in. All the way in tight. These needles were here. Where's that other one? So the really pointy one here. They've got a different thread, so you, you can't mix them up. Now, I believe I was one and a half out from that. Two and a half out from this one. <clears throat> one, one and a half, two, two and a half. Well, that'll get us in the ballpark anyway, then we'll know how far to tune it from there. I believe there was a little spring down in there. Actually, we'll put the we'll put everything else on first. And I believe this one went all the way in. The little spring up in here. And oops. Okay, the spring goes in there. And a little needle. there. That's him. Okay. I forgot the seats on there. air hose and then I'm just going to wire brush the top just because really
first you've just got to make sure that middle bit of the diaphragm slides onto that little hooky bit. Yep. Okay, that's set there. Now we just need to bolt him up. Okay, everything else seems good. Well, I'd say we get that in and see if we can then start it with the same fuel that was in it. I haven't put any new fuel in it. All right, we're just gonna clean up that intake then. Yeah, you just sort of little bits of dirt and stuff out of the way. Gasket on properly. Um, okay, so that's out. Actually, let me just see if I can put the fuel arm back on first. Oh, that went on like that. Yep, click. <clears throat> now we need to get our linkages on. And this little washer can just whack under there. Oh, they go that way. And we 
my god. Ow. There's our throttle linkage, so now we're just going to whack him on. Now we've got to get our throttle linkage in. And then get like a screwdriver in. There we go. That should hold it up, let's hope anyway. on that one. Okay, get on there. That's already better. might run a little bit funny when we uh, get it started because of that inox mixing with the fuel. Yeah, all right, we're gonna go with that. Um, <clears throat> I'll put this air cleaner on. Okay, I've simply just forgotten that little gasket that goes on before those little bolts. Glad I picked up on that. Sorry if my hands are blocking the view. Okay. You see, that's not even gonna sit properly. That's just, that, that gasket is just buggered. It looked a bit dicky when I was trying to get it off, but... Oh yeah, let's see if that'll sit like that for, us. for now. Okay, let's get that airbox back on. That's a little bit better. So, what have we got here? So we've got push the choke to, or pull the choke to start, push the ignition. I'll see if I knew, I knew what I was on about actually. Let's just do that spark plug back. Just check out everything. It 
I'll get it outside. We'll play with it for a bit and uh, yeah, it works. part one thanks for joining me on this video the next one you're going to see a full restoration of this chainsaw so i hope you like this one you're going to like the next one so stay tuned cheers